Dumbass, you need a quarter. Anything with scoring always costs money. <sighs> hey Beavis, maybe it's time we finally started to give a crap about whales and poetry and stuff. <laughs> the last time I gave a crap, you said you didn't want it and made me take it outside. <laughs> Just use the toilet, dumbass. <laughs> well, time to get back to the real world. Okay. Are you threatening me? I am Cornolio. I have no buckle. <laughs> I am Cornolio. <laughs> My bunghole will speak now. <laughs> Who's that? You're not them two boys run off with our tank? Uh, no, sir. Yeah, I'm, that was like, uh, two other kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, because them boys are in a world of trouble. Uh, this old farmer dude said you were, like, talking to our good friend Todd? Well, I did talk to a young man named Todd recently. Said he needed a place to store his new car. Fortunately for him, my RV was in the shop. I mean... Yeah, he's a really good friend, yeah. <laughs> now, if you see that boy, tell him I'm gonna need some more money if he wants to keep it in my space much longer. Yes, sir, one way or another, we all gotta give way to the almighty dollar. Uh, <laughs> I heard you, like, let a couple of smooth dudes mess up your property and stuff. <laughs> no more. I got me a garage opener and put it on my shed so they can't break in no more. And what with my back not being what it used to, that electric opener's a real handy. Only problem is I lost the damn thing. I've been all over trying to find it. I thought I left it in the taxidermist shop when I dropped off the old grizzly bear to be restuffed, but the owner said she ain't seen it. <laughs> Stuffed. Well, maybe the little woman's seen it. Sorry, boys, you can't come back here. Employees only. Uh, we should, like, get her something to stuff. <laughs> she stuffs. What's the car here? <laughs> you can't get it anywhere, Beavis. <laughs> Shut up!
Hey guys, can I take your order? <laughs> Do you have stuff that's free? Hey, I can't give you free food. It's against policy. Uh, don't tell the boss you're giving us free food, and I won't tell him you're a dork. <laughs> I'm not giving you free food, butthead. Now what'll it be? Uh, do you have any chicks? Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. I guess you wouldn't. Do <laughs> you have stuff that's free? Hey, I can't give you free food. It's against policy. Will you children quit bothering me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Todd told us you had, like, the keys for his car. So? So, like, can we have them? <laughs> like, I don't think so. Anyway, they're in my locker, so I can't get them till Monday. Okay, dude. She wants to play games. <laughs> Did you say something? I told you, losers. Todd's keys are in my locker. And school's closed till Monday. Oh, I thought you said you wanted to do me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, you know I'd have to have you written up. Full of books. <laughs> what are they for, butthead? <laughs> uh, for sucking, I think. <laughs> what are you kids doing? We're closed, and this building ain't a playground to run around in. Uh, we need a combination for like a locker. Yeah, I mean. You know, it's it's like our locker, you know. <laughs> I'd need McVicker say so to get the list out of the boiler room, boys. And he's been missing since Friday. Oh, <laughs> thank you, drive through. <laughs> what are you kids doing? We're closed, and this building ain't a playground to run around in. Too bad McVicker's not like a little kid. Trapped kids get on TV all the time. <laughs> what are you kids doing? We're closed, and this building ain't a playground to run around in. Did you get my car? Yeah, Beavis, did you get his car? What do you mean, butthead? <laughs> I don't think he got it, sir. <sighs> well, go get it, you little turd stain. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. 